what is ikigai can you um explain it to us yes i think many indians know already but the definition of ikigai is purpose of life so uh the reason why you uh stand up every day and wish to live one day more so but, but we could translate it more simply like life purpose your mission uh yes uh, so is it uh, correct to say that ikiga is actually the purpose of life uh, i mean they are the same purpose thing of life is meaning of life it's the reason why you have energy to live and that's uh, why in our investigation in okinawa we discovered that uh, an important secret for all these old people who were centenarians we we knew a man 108 that was in perfect physical condition and working every day in the garden is that they have a purpose they, they have a reason they have a why no? and then the ikigai would be this why in the center of our life that uh, works like an engine that put us forward and and can be very useful also in times of difficulty like this because if you have a reason to live then you can overcome any difficult circumstances uh yes like you just said that uh, we are going through some uh, unprecedented times and these uh, are difficult times for everyone so uh, when we are in this uh, slow pace of life you know do you think it's easier to find one's uh, ikigai i think it's easier now than in comfortable times because in comfortable times uh life is is more uh, inside into uh, agendas and calendars so before the pandemics many people had a very full agenda of compromises in your work with your colleagues with your family with your friends and then you looked at a week at, at your week in your calendar and everything was full uh, there was no free space to do something else and with the pandemics everything has changed many people lost jobs or decided to quit jobs and we started to have more time at home we started to think we liberated space and with this uh, new situation many people have rethought their lives and say i don't want to do this for the rest of my life i don't want to live more maybe in the city uh, something that has happened in europe especially in spain is that many people living in cities they have moved to the to villages to, to to the country because they thought if more pandemics are going to come i want to have nature uh, near me i want to have a bigger house i want to have a garden i want to see the sun i want to see the horizon so many many people in these pandemic times is rethinking priorities and i think after this in 5 6 eight months the time it takes there will be a lot of changes in directions because we have had this opportunity to think and to uh put new priorities in front of our life absolutely you know i'm talking about uh, how to rethink life and prioritizing life uh, once again and finding ikigai uh, can you uh, help us uh, understand how can we find our ikigai if i were to ask you um um maybe like a you know like five steps to find ikigai or five ways to find my ikigai um, would you be uh, actually, able to help us the, the, the best thing would be that they buy the book because it, it's not something that uh, that uh, uh, i can tell in in two minutes but we can make a kind of summary <laughs> yes uh first thing would be uh that you think what you love in your life more than any other thing so we have many interests we have many hobbies we have many talents we have a uh, different energies dedicated in our lives to different things but we should decide which thing comes first what is the thing that you enjoy more than any other else second thing we could do is to ask ourselves where are we more useful to society so everybody uh, has been born for some mission in this life and so mm, you should examine if you are useful solving problems talking to others uh, doing intellectual work uh, doing something 
artistic, doing something uh, physical. So you find your element, as Ken Robinson said, and then you see where can you be more useful to society? How can you improve the world from your position? And then we could ask also ourselves what life is demanding from us, because sometimes there is a difference between what we wish and we, what we need to do. This is called in creative, uh, in, in the, in the crea creative world, it's called the, the Pixar rule for the Pixar studios. And if you if you see uh, movies like Toy Story, yeah. the, the narrative tension comes between what uh, the protagonist wants and what the protagonist needs. And if we think in Woody, this cowboy of Toy Story, he wants to be again the uh, the first toy of the child because this Buzz Lightyear comes there. But actually what he needs is to learn to be a friend. And all the story of this movie is how you go from your wish to what you need to do. And this is what I call uh, that life sometimes has a mission for yourself, but we don't know yet and we must discover it. And maybe I am struggling very much, working a lot of hours, but maybe life wants something different from me. And I must discover it, looking at my talents, looking where can I be more useful and exploring myself. Uh, absolutely, you know, but uh, tell me, um... How will I know that I found my Ikigai? Is it a sign or is it just that it will bring me a lot of happiness? There, there, there are many signs, but I would say that the, the easiest one to recognize is the flow. If you have an Ikigai and you do that, let's imagine that your Ikigai is playing piano. When you sit in front of the piano and you put your fingers on the keys, you will feel that you flow with this activity. Time disappears. Uh, disappears, space disappears, problems, the past, the future, it goes out and there is only you and the piano and it's a natural uh, experience of flowing with this activity. And so when we love very much to do something, when we are living our Ikigai, a very normal thing is that it, it doesn't uh, give any effort to us. So that we flow naturally in that thing. It's very easy for us. Uh, we lose this sense of time and we feel totally together with the activity. So uh, it's like the jazz musician that is improvising a solo with the saxophone that you don't know where the saxophone ends and where the musician begins. It's uh, like a kind of meditation that you uh, get a kind of fusion with your activity. This would be a very clear sign.